TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training, videos, and tutorials. Are you an old dog? Simply visit TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com and learn some new tricks for free. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you for being here for this tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about cut, copy, and paste. And we're going to use Microsoft Word to do this, but as I've said all along, I use Word as the vehicle to teach you about Microsoft Word. But also with that, you're going to learn a lot of the basics, a lot of the fundamentals that will carry you over to all other software programs. So the things you learn here today in Microsoft Word will absolutely help you in other areas. So I want to talk about cut, copy, and paste. When you're writing or typing a document, you might find the need to either cut something, copy something, and then paste it elsewhere. So let's just address that. The first thing we're going to look at is cut, copy, and paste via the toolbar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the word cut, and I'm going to go up on the toolbar, and I want to draw your attention right here to this pair of scissors. If you want to cut something or get rid of it, you can click on cut, and it now took that word cut and took it away. If I want to now paste it someplace else, I'm going to put my pointer at the end of right click, I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to now go up in the toolbar and I want you to notice that we have a little clipboard here with a sheet of paper. This is the option for paste. So if I click on that, it puts the word cut in there. If I click again and again and again and again, it will keep pasting that. So I have the ability to put that in there very easily. Let me go undo some of these things that I've done just to get back to where we were. Excellent. Now I also want to draw your attention to notice because we have the word cut selected, the scissors are available. It allows me to cut it, I can copy, I can paste, or I can do something called Format Painter, which I'll discuss in another tutorial. Having stated that, when I click away from it, now the scissors are gone. So one of the keys here is you have to select the text to tell it what to do. So let's go look at that again, but let's look at it a little bit different way. I'm going to highlight all of this. Again, I can come up here, I can cut it. I can also copy it using these two little sheets of paper. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to come down below. I'm going to hit enter a couple times just to go down the screen. And I'm now going to paste it by using this little option right here by clicking on paste. And again, I can keep pasting and pasting it. You'll notice it's putting numbers with it because I'm in a numbered list. That's not really part of the tutorial, but I just want to point that out because it just happened to be in the flow of what I'm doing. So again, we can use the toolbar. Let me go back and undo all my steps that I've done just to get back to where we were. Excellent. Now, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut. So let me take this text right here. I'm going to select it with my mouse. And this time, I'm going to go up and I'm going to draw your attention to where it says Edit, right up here on the top toolbar. I want you to see down below where it says Cut, Copy, and Paste, right here. Well, when we look at cut, to the left of it we have the scissors, which is what you saw in the toolbar. To the right of it, you'll notice that there is what is called a keyboard shortcut. That means if you hold the control key down, CTRL, plus the letter X, we can cut what we have. Control C is copy, and you would think control P, as in paste, would be the option for paste. But control P is actually the keyboard shortcut to print something. So control P is print, paste is control and the letter V as in Victor. So keep that in mind. So in other words, if I want to copy all that I have selected, and I just reselected some stuff, I'm going to hold the control key down and hit the letter C. I'm going to come down, hit the enter key, do the keyboard shortcut to paste, which is control and then V as in Victor. I'm going to hold it down, and I'm just going to keep hitting this. And you'll see, we'll just keep going right down the line. So I'm going to undo this and show you that there is also the keyboard shortcuts that you can use to do some of the same things that I did with the toolbar. Let's look at it one more way. Okay, give you another option. And again, there's not a right way or wrong way, it's just personal preference. The next way is I s selected the words right click and this time I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to put my pointer on what I've selected and I'm going to click on the right mouse button. 
again, not the left, but I'm clicking on the right mouse button. And you'll notice here we also have the same options, cut, copy, and paste. So one of the things that can make computers confusing, but at the same time give you different options, is there's always more than one way to do everything. So I always tell people, you know, if you think there's got to be a better and easier way, chances are pretty good there is. So this is the last way, cut, copy, and paste or the last way that I'm going to show you. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Again, you can take these tips and use them anywhere on the computer. It's not just relegated to when you're working in Microsoft Word. My name is Tony Holowitz. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great day.